back on the road. We are headed back to LA. Stay tuned for the ride there. Forgot to show the breakfast burritos. I've got one more. Um, sorry if you're hearing any country. It's a, it's a weird drive. Good old 99. Most boring highway in California. I heard it on the grapevine. This is Pyramid Lake. Now a car thinks I'm filming them. Pyramid Lake. I hope I don't need to explain that one. This is how you know we're in LA. We're just the worst lane. We are at a distribution center in Santa Fe Springs, California. Never been here, never heard of that. Yoonji had to pick something up she got from work. It has alcohol in it, so someone needed to be home to sign for it. That's why it's here, that's why we're here. Stay tuned for the unboxing because I actually am excited to see what she had. I expected it to be a lot bigger, TBH. We're home. Package contains alcohol, ick, beverages. Adult signature required. No delivery to an intoxicated person. Book, a book of alcohol. Oh, stickers and stuff. This is probably. Oh. All the wines in here. <laughs> Wait, they're tiny. <laughs> oh, Ooh, there's gosh. five. Oh, it's so cute. So this is the. Beautiful earth. She forgot how to wine. read momentarily. <laughs> so we've got this one, a red. Oh, the rest are all reds. But this one, and then this one is the. Well, if that doesn't get you excited, she received one bottle from the future this 2098 Paper Street Cuvée. So very cool. Final look at our five friends that will be consumed. All right, just messed around. Getting some thumbnails of that. Yunji's happy hour starting now. She's graciously agreed to let me try some of the wines. Try to get some footage of her, even though she'll be looking at her camera. But let's see what happens. This might gross some people out. This is the uh, Thanksgiving Gouda, but whatever, it's fine. And this salami actually never got open because it's encasing and we're too lazy to cut it. But we have, I already forgot what kind of white wine that is, and then four red wines. They're all blends. Actually, no, this one's a Cab, Cabernet Sauvignon. And these three are like, when I say they're blends, they're extreme blends. Like one of these has like eight varietals in it. So let them like air, air yeah. So I spent way too long, not only trying to guess the volume of this, but grabbing every container in the house, whether it was hot sauce or antibacterial or things from the bathroom. We landed at guessing this was 75 milliliters, but we just found out it's two ounces, so a little shy of 60 milliliters. I don't know why you'd care, but I wanted you to know that. It's very tasty and it's room temp, it's not cold at all. So yeah, that's very good. This is the Cab Sab, the Bull by the Horns. This is part of, as you see, the hardworking series of wines that we make. The cheapest one for all of you folks that care at home. Any tasting notes? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite, it's but it's pretty fruity. good. <laughs> Sweet and fruity. So I told you that this was not a blend and that it was a Cab Sab, but apparently in California, as long as you're 75% of one varietal, you can claim that. So this is a blend, apparently at least 75% of Cab Sab. You don't care, let's, let's taste it. It's both uh, a little like fiery, or not bitter, but it is very fruity, a bit sweet, but it has some of that like, I don't know if that's tannic or not. I should let you know, I don't know anything about wines. I know that that is red. I have received confirmation from the wine man that that burning fieriness is tannic, so I kind of knew what was going on. This is one of the blends, costs more than the last one. Let's go. I like it. It was a little spicy in the back, but I'd say pretty light to medium bodied and 
very smooth, but yeah, just a little, I guess, tannic or fire in the back. I prefer the white wine the most so far, but I like white wine. This is the red wine I like more than the other one. This is what we're twerking with. Peeling the casing off, this is so hard. Like that's how little I've gotten off of. I'm eating so much casing, I hope that's okay. <laughs> This is the fate accompli. You and G's pretty bad at pouring these so far. As long as you can grow it, am I right? I think it's similar. I think I might like the last one better. I'm getting that like kind of spiciness, fieriness again. I think I like the last one more. Smells like fish. Doesn't taste like fish. Fish wine. Smells kind of odd. Maybe not fishy, but this does not smell good. Oof, that's nice. Super like silky even, not tannic at all, not spicy. Very thinner, medium bodied. Yeah, maybe a little spice or tannic on the pig. This is the winner and not surprisingly, the most expensive of the lot. And it's just a mess. Yunji is off the official call, so we're gonna finish those wines not knowing anything or knowing less than the guy that was there so this is the white yinji and i both like this one maybe my second favorite it's a really good white considering considering it doesn't need to be cold okay yeah, it's flavorful and it's delicious like this is delicious the white is called beautiful earth paso Robles. yeah this one this white is so good Like there's not a hint of sweetness. It's just, it's like naturally fruity. Naturally. I like white wine, but this is especially good. Okay. Different from, or maybe not. It's just really good. <laughs> I'm like a little bit drunk already. I didn't even think I drank that much. Should we get through this one first or just not deal with it? Mm. So this is the bull by the horns. This is the cheapest one. I didn't think it was bad at all. Just it was a little fruity and sweet. Two words neither of us really like. Um, so I think we'll skip this one and maybe end with it. Some people liked it. Okay, so that's a cab sob, which is weird because I love cab sobs. So we will do the beautiful earth, the red. Mm, this one was really good. We're doing some ultra high end stuff. So we're gonna pour it in a glass that who knows what was in this, but <laughs> our palates aren't refined enough to know. We're not very classy people. Oh yeah, I still really like that one. And it oh, pairs yeah. really well with the- Salami. The salami, yeah. I think from memory, this was the one actually that was our favorite red until the last one. <laughs> Edit that part out. Mm, spicier than I remember, but not too spicy. Just like really like flavorful, smooth. Did you have a bite of the salami? <laughs> oh boy, it is salami. So I think if you have a bite, of the salami and then drink it it's less spicy but if you wish you would have told me that before i drank it but I, I like it spicy i wish i hadn't taken a bite mm. of the salami because i wanted the spicy and then have the salami afterwards you know they also learned that i need to google how the heck to like get the casing off salami this is very difficult and i just ate a ton of casing i'm obviously well not obviously i hope i'm not gonna die i don't think so but it was challenging reading can be hard after consuming alcohol so this one is supposed to have violet, currant, cedar, forest floor. Usually like to floor, floor. Sweet floor. mint, that's fun. Spring flowers, exotic fruits. I basically said all the words that I knew how to say and there's a couple things in there that I can't pronounce so I just skipped it. Now that that's been properly cleaned. I love these little glass jars and then they labeled it. How cute is that? And then turn and put that on. All right. Yeah, so depending how I edit this, uh, she was on like a Zoom call with 
someone from the winery and her coworkers. That's why we got this free wine. But I had to be quiet and not be awkward and she couldn't keep looking around because she's supposed to be looking at her camera, not like this random guy that's trying to film for YouTube. She's, she doesn't like it, but she's waiting for me to drink it so she doesn't ruin it for me. Yeah, this one's more tannic and maybe like a little, I always forget how body you're supposed to talk about, if it's like thin or thick, I, but it's a little thicker. I know there's a smarter way to say that. A little more tannic um, and maybe a little fruitier. So kind of across the board, I like the other one, the last one more. So actually I was gonna say, I feel I like this one a lot now. Oh, you can add it. So I don't know if it's because I've been drinking and suddenly, suddenly my palate's changed. Suddenly my palate's changed. I don't know if it's because I've been eating or drinking or what, but now I like it. Good. A touch of snickerdoodle. The finish is juicy and precise with a touch of bittersweet chocolate. If you like wine, please just school me and put some stuff in the comments because I'd appreciate it and it'll make this video uh, better for everyone. Yeah, what does mouthfeel mean? So this is the final one. This was like a consensus on our favorite. It's This one is different than everything. It's still absolutely delicious. It might be because it's a $60 wine. Wow. Oh, don't let him drive. Um, Drunk driving is not okay, guys. Yes, okay, so here's the, here's the table. But drunk shuffleboard is totally on the table, that's fine. Blackberry, lavender, elderflower. Elderberry. Elderberry. Elderberry flower, hibiscus, sage oil, flower. fennel pollen, blueberry reduction, sweet pepper, and stone fruit. Oh my gosh, everything sounds, that all sounds incredible. Fennel pollen, honestly. It just sounds so magical. Well, she pronounced most of those words correctly, that's great. Which one did I not pronounce correctly? I don't know. Elder brown. Yeah, that, that's really good. Ooh, that got a 96 on the wine enthusiast. 2018 rating. Yeah, it's super smooth. It's delicious. It has just like a tiny touch of bite. Otherwise it would almost be flavorless. So the body's perfect. It's super smooth. Maybe it's medium, maybe it's on the lighter side, but it's just really good. I know that sounds dumb. Yeah, it's drinkable. And it should go to say, we never drink wines that cost us that much. We're uh, firmly in the six-ish range. Almost we're here, in which we'll drink 13, 10-ish range. 10 to 15 range. But quick plug, we don't know how much this costs. My mom got it for Yoonji. It is not a gimmick. There is actually white truffle in here, believe it or not. It tastes like truffle, it's great. Trader Joe's, I highly suggest trying this. It's delicious. So plug on that. Oop, I just lost some truffle. Oh, so good. Mm. We're big fans of truffle. Everything about this is great. So I guess that's it. Well, for now, I always say that and then it's like, I wonder if you guys are gonna sign up. We're gonna eat something later. I just don't know if we're coming, we're, we're here today. You're gonna tell them today or yesterday? No, I forgot, I'll tell them today. Oh, maybe we're not eating tonight, so that's fun. Thanks for hanging out. We'll eat something, we'll drink something, and then we'll do more tomorrow. <laughs> I don't do it's do from Facebook, this is for the thumbnail.